Welcome to Don Mar TV News Channel. Matapos ang pagbisita kay Davao City Mayor at Presidential Daughter Sara Duterte Carpio ni dating Defense Secretary Gibo Teodoro, naging usap-usapan kung tambalan na ba ito sa darating na eleksyon. Sa isang panayam sa UN TV News, sinabi ni dating Kamarina Sur Representative Rolando Andaya na tiyak na ang Sara Gibo tandem sa 2022. Sa katunayan, nilalakad na umano nila ang pagpapalakas sa tambalan sa buong bansa. Money is not a problem. Uh, financing is not a problem. It's already there. It was already fixed before we landed uh, in Manila, coming from Davao. So everything is set. What we are talking about now in the inner circles is how both of them will promote their tandem nationwide. We're at that stage already. Ayon pa kay Andaya, tatakbong independent si na Duterte Carpio at Teodoro at hindi rin anya hihingi ang dalawa ng pag-endorso mula sa ibang partido. Para sa dating kongresista, ang tambalang Duterte Carpio at Teodoro ang gold standard sa president at vice presidential race. When I looked at both of them, I was watching them intently when they were conversing with each other. Kinikilig ako eh. Para ako nanonood ng uh, pelikula na box office. And I'm sure when people get to see them together, they'll get the same feeling. Sara Gibot and them, God's choice. Sinubukan ng UNTV News na makapanayam si Teodoro, ngunit tumanggi muna ito sa ngayon. Wala rin kumpirmasyon sa ngayon si Mayor Duterte kaugnay sa pagtakbo nito sa pagkapresidente sa 2022 elections. Samantala, si Pangulong Duterte naman hindi pa sigurado kung tatakbo sa pagkabisa presidente sa darating na halalan. In the first place, he was nominated. At ang sagot ko lang naman dyan, syempre kailangan sagutin yung nominasyon, kaya pinag-iisipan. Pero wala pa pong desisyon ng presidente. Sa isang pahayag, sinabi naman ni Senate President Vicente Soto III na siya ang magiging running mate ni Senator Panfilo Lacson sakaling magdesisyon ito na tumakbo sa pagka-presidente. Dagdag ni Soto, hindi anya siya tulad ng ibang politiko na magsasabing hindi tatakbo pero pagdating sa huli, bigla na lamang maghahain ng Certificate of Candidacy. Sa Oktubre gaganapin ang paghahain ng COC ng mga kakandidato sa 2022 elections. This is not yet a done deal, this Sarah uh, Gibo tandem, uh, because, and Sarah did not say that she is running for certain, at least she did not tell you, uh, and that uh, she did not say, you are my vice president, you are my running mate, because Nonoy Andaya himself says that was his uh, interpretation, no? Um, and he gave two reasons. He said that, uh, number one, Sarah did not contradict him, and did not leave the room when uh, he said, this is your vice president, this is your president, and because she offered you the chance to be vaccinated. Is that all correct so far, as I've said? Uh, the factual uh, occurrences, I confirm that that happened. However, to be absolutely clear, this is my position on the matter, that after talking to her, uh, about the issues confronting the country, we both agree that the health issue facing the country is the first and primary issue. And the second issue is speedy vaccinations as fast as possible in order to open the economy. And I felt that she was focused on the job. I feel that uh, she is an experienced leader with a keen grasp of national and local issues, I felt her sincerity, and I think she should run for uh, the presidency of the country. And if she does, I will be glad to be her vice president in order to help her and to support her. So, so Secretary Giboy, you felt her sincerity, you think uh, that she should uh, run for president. But she herself did not say to you categorically that she will run for president, uh, and uh, you, but you are willing to run as her VP, or even you will run as her as VP, even if not with her. I am willing to run as her vice president because I feel that she can gain and garner trust of the masses. She will lead an administration which will heal you know, wounds uh, which are existing in the country. She will have a unifying agenda. I want to work and help somebody that will have a sustainable agenda that is focused 
on getting out of this pandemic, of which uh, all over the world, nobody's certain how long it will last, and is also focused mm -hmm. on getting the economy of this country open. I want to work and support somebody with a positive agenda and not a, a, an agenda uh, probably which will, call, uh, which will look back and be vengeful. I want a constructive agenda because our country cannot afford uh, more division, Mm -hmm. more politicking, more partisan politics. And I think uh, uh, Mayor Sara Duterte has that ability, has that agenda, has that connection to uh, a big, big uh, number of Filipinos. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay. willing to help in, okay. in, in, in that in, in that positive agenda. Mm -hmm. I want to be motivated Secretary. to work with a sustainable yes. agenda. Mm -hmm. Secretary, I hear you loud and clear. But uh, yes or no na lang po, sir. Did she categorically tell you that she will run for president? No, I confirm Nonoy Andaya's uh, 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 version of events. But uh, I, I again reiterate that should she decide, of which we have to wait for her to officially announce, I'm willing, ready, and uh, will be honored to support her as vice president, mm -hmm. because I believe okay. that she yeah. will have and a that announcement and sustainable agenda. And that announcement, as Nona was saying, will happen in July. Uh, but at the same time, uh, are you open to running for president yourself, or uh, would you run for the Senate, or it's going to be VP for you, or nothing at all? Uh, by the way, P.I., if I may segue, I'm really happy with the picture you're showing because it shows that I'm, I'm, I'm back into shape. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. The size difference in the video is kind of obvious. Uh, and I'm really uh, happy and mm -hmm. proud of myself that I've been able to lose uh, uh, a lot of weight. Yeah. And that goes okay. to show well, you Secretary, how ready uh, we're I am. We're running out of time. So are you... Support yeah. her. Uh oh for VP Lang. So you will not consider a run for the presidency or for the Senate? This is it. Right now, I see a good it. Okay. synergy synergy between her and me. I've been gone uh, for, for 10 right. years through a learning experience in the private sector. And I've learned a lot, actually, in the private sector. My experience was mm -hmm. a learning experience, okay. and I can apply that to a person who will have a sustainable and focused agenda of uh, health care, mm -hmm. getting back on our feet, and sustainable progress. Yes. Uh, and okay. also, not, I can okay. be a bridge. I'm going to try and squeeze in all these, all these questions. Together. Yes. Pardon okay, me. Secretary, I'm going to try and squeeze in all these questions in the last few minutes that we have together. But, uh, you know, you started dropping hints about returning to uh, public life in your social media accounts. You posted uh, graphics of this green check mark beside a uh, 2022 in green also. Um, if you were dropping hints in February, have you had surveys done to check if you will make it this time around? A very brief response na lang po, sir. Yes, uh, surveys are, are being done naturally because a lot of people want me to return. My family wants me to return because mm -hmm. this pandemic okay. changed everyone. I mean, whether rich or poor, right. everybody was affected. The world's turned upside down. So That's it's incumbent true. upon everyone yeah. to help how he or she can best help. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people who want me to okay. return. And these people are... Uh, mm -hmm. Very actively, one of them is Congressman Andaya, very actively helping right. uh, uh, me return right. to government in the best way he sees possible mm -hmm. okay. to, and in a heartfelt way. So how can one yes. refuse uh -oh. that call if the, vo the voters mm -hmm. so decide? Yes. Uh -oh. Okay, si Nono Andaya, sabi na nga niya, presidente siya ng Sarah Gibo Fans Club. But anyway, balik tayo po sa secretary sa 2010. Uh, although admittedly, um, that's since 11 years ago, the pendulum has uh, has uh, swung from uh, Noy Noy Aquino, your second cousin, to uh, Rodrigo Duterte, who is uh, father of your possible uh, katandem. No? But 
uh, in 2010, you only came in fourth as the administration candidate, uh, Noy Noy, 15.2 uh, million votes, ERAP, 9.9 9 plus million votes, uh, Manny Villar, uh, 5.5 uh, million votes. Um, uh, very quickly, sir, if you can, no, you hibernated after that loss. So were, did you try and discern why you lost? Uh, that was, of course, you know, uh, subject to analysis, uh, for the first few months, but then I had to move on and, and, and try to, to, to get reintegrate myself to the private sector. And I focused more on that because I mm -hmm. learned a lot in the private sector, mm -hmm. being 20 years on the government side and now being on the other side of the fence. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of efficiencies that you can introduce yes. into government. Whereas staying in government for such a mm -hmm. long time also emasculates you. So uh, perhaps that is one contribution I can make towards making government more adaptable, more flexible, and uh, mm -hmm. making it react quicker. Uh, and uh, I can give right. a big picture of uh, a lot of uh, situations, whether geopolitically, economically, and uh, that much I can contribute to our countrymen because I learned a lot from the private sector. And, I, of course, I know mm -hmm. the structural rigidities of government. Actually, the problem with, mm -hmm. the, uh, with the country is twofold. Uh, for me, the biggest problem is every six mm -hmm. years, a new country is born. And I'm uh, quoting, I'm paraphrasing somebody else. Okay. You can't have that. Number yeah. okay. two, Secretary is, there are yes. a lot my, my... of rigidities mm -hmm. in institutions in government. We need to build institutions. Mm -hmm. True, very true. Uh, Secretary, my last question. You were Defense Secretary August 2007 to November 2009, and everybody remembers uh, you most for your performance no, during uh, the onslaught of Typhoon Ondoy in September 2009. Um, at the same time, uh, because you were Defense Secretary then, 2010, no, uh, sorry, 2016, um, uh, when President Duterte came to power, he asked you to be his Defense Secretary. We never really got it very clear, no? Um, uh, with as much answer as you can muster, can you tell us why you declined the offer to be Defense Secretary? Because I had just reintegrated into the private sector and my personal circumstances, among others, would not allow a return to the public sector. But this pandemic changes everything. You know, I, 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 had this pandemic not happened, had this, then probably I would not, neither would my family have, have encouraged me to try my best to offer my services once again to the country because I was trained in public service for quite some time. And this pandemic really changed everything. And even my family encouraged me to uh, try to offer mm -hmm. myself as best as I can to the country. And if this is one way that I can do so, this is one way I can forge through and try to help build bridges amongst people in this country, try to help unify this mm -hmm. country, try to have a sustainable agenda going. Uh, and uh, of course, I, I, I cannot do that alone. I have to have somebody who is uh, uh, more visible to uh, a lot of uh, our voters, especially the younger ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, this is how yeah. best perhaps uh, Secretary, just... at this time I can help. Mm -hmm. Secretary Tudor, just uh, sana lang po, uh, yes or no answer. Could you have refused to be vaccinated in Davao, even if politely? I could have. I could have refused. But for me, it was a public service mm -hmm. okay. because we were talking about uh, people not getting vaccinated, the pandemic. vaccine yeah. hesitancy, and, you know, wasted vaccines. And so right. I put my hands into the local health officials of Davao, trustingly, as a symbol mm -hmm. that I trust okay. them. I, tr I would put my life in their hands. Well, Secretary Gilbert Kibo Teodoro, thank you very much for joining us this evening and an uh, advanced happy birthday to you. Uh, that's next week already. Salamat po, Secretary Teodoro.